Good afternoon, I'm Maritza Brunt and here's what's making headlines this week. The South Pacific Division Mission Hostel on Warunga's Fox Valley Road has been officially decommissioned. After more than 65 years of hosting expat missionaries, the iconic flats are now being demolished, with plans to build medical consulting rooms. The South Pacific Division will continue to provide other transit units and accommodation, with President Pastor Glenn Townend saying the close is a sign of progress as it shows success in the mission field. Electoral officials in Papua New Guinea have made changes to the upcoming general election to ensure no Christian will have to vote on their day of worship. Pastor Kepsi Alodo, president of the Adventist Church in PNG, wrote directly to the Chief Electoral Commissioner, noting that polling dates included three Sabbaths. Pastor Alodo also released a statement to the nation's 294,000 Adventist members, encouraging them to pray for and work towards a peaceful campaign and election season. The Electoral Commission has since responded positively to the concerns and just recently released dates for polling that don't include weekends. And finally, Seventh-day Adventists were among the hundreds who recently attended the annual Sydney Prayer Breakfast at Darling Harbour. More than 1,200 people gathered for fellowship, breakfast and prayer, including the New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian and Governor David Hurley. Adventist institutions were also well represented, with 20 staff from the South Pacific Division, Adventist Media, Sydney Adventist Hospital, Greater Sydney Conference and ADRA. That's it for this week's Record Wrap. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.